This man's going to rush. This man is going to wipe out our team. Earthquake, solar beam. I'm going to guess sunny day, even though that's dumb. Ancient power. This man's going to wipe out our team. Because Kippers isn't strong. In, like, he's strong. But Kippers' water attack will be weakened by drought. Leo definitely isn't going to make it. To make matters worse, if I put Kippers out, Solar Beam can come out and kill him in one shot. It can also do a good amount of damage to Tuff. Oh, no, wait. I forgot. This is a randomizer. It might not even be Groudo. <laughs> All right, adventurers. Welcome to All Play. We're here with more of the Pokemon Ruby Nuzlocke. It's bright as hell. It's bright as hell. Uh, Team Magma has awoken Groudon. They know what the hell they're doing. And apparently it's going to be left up to us to solve this problem. Team Snaps and Claps, y'all ready? Y'all looking good. Uh, I went out and sold all of the bullshit TMs. We had two owls. I don't know if I mentioned it or not, but we had two sa uh, sand attacks. I sold bo all of them. And I stocked up on super repels so that when we go in this, uh, and we go into this next part, if we have the opportunity to catch Groudon or whoever, then we can do it. Let's see. Where am I supposed to be going? I think I want to go this way. I don't know. Let's see. Do I want to go up here? Or do I want to go to the other side? I think it might. Have, yeah, it's the other side that I wanted to go to. Okay. That's fine. It's no problem. It's Okay. I'm kind of jittery again. I don't know why I get like this sometimes when I'm recording stuff. But it's okay. It'll be all right. Just a little bit jittery. <sighs> Here we go. It might be because I know that we're coming up to one of the climaxes. Is this in the right place either? No. It might be because I know that we're coming up to one of the high points of uh, this playthrough. When we get past... Yo, where the hell am I supposed to be going? <laughs> where am I supposed to be going? When we get into the portion, not here, doors closed, yes, I know this. Do we want to go behind the gym? No? You're not going, oh, I'm pressing the wrong button, because I'm dumb. There we go. Let's see. No? Not behind the gym? All right, fine. Uh, let's see. We already went this way. We went everywhere this way, right? Huh. Interesting. When I've lost, and I don't know what to do, what do you do? You check the map. But what if the map doesn't have the info that you need? What do you didn't do? You do some research. Give me a second. Okay. I see what I did wrong. I see what I did wrong. It is completely my fault for not paying attention. Trying to, trying to talk. I didn't go this way. I didn't go this way. Okay. I'll tell I'll tell what I think what I think went wrong between Team Magma's plan. I think they could have they could have done everything that they planned on doing if they would have paid a little bit more attention. I'll I'll say that after this. Chill, you came too? Under this scutcher's scorching sun yet Oh yes. Can you hear out what my friend has to say? My name is Wallace. I'm this town's gym leader. I've also been entrusted with the protection of the cave of origin. This sunshine is caused by a power emanating from the cave of origin. That, that is the red orb. I see. Follow me. We're just going to roll over there. This sunlight. People in Pokemon need sunlight to live. But why does this sunlight fill us with so much dread? The blazing sun over Zootopolis is intensifying. Soon all of Owen will be under its withering glare. If that were to happen... He had to stop for that. He had to stop for that. The Cave of Origin is ahead. No one from Zootopolis is permitted to enter the Cave of Origin. But you must go, together with your Red Orb. You must go regardless of what awaits you inside the cave. Chill, I never expected you to be holding the Red Orb. You'll be okay. With your Pokemon, you'll get things done no matter what. I'm convinced of it. Alright, they have the utmost faith in us. I'm, I'm glad they do. Because Team Snaps and Claps is about to go in here and save the day. 
Uh, what I was going to say is, oh, when we get in, I need to activate the super appell. So this is legitimate so that we only get one encounter here. Uh, what I was going to say is, I don't know what told them that the blue orb. Oh, God, we need flash. Let's see. Can we hook? Uh, can we hook the wonderful, the wonderful cute up with flash? Yes, we can. God damn it. Cute is the best HM slave. Cute knows all the HMs, ladies and gentlemen. Cute is the hidden master. There we go. Uh, what I was going to say is, I don't know what told them. I don't know what told them that you want the blue orb to control the red one and the red orb to control the blue one. Why didn't they just try and match colors? Doesn't that, doesn't that make a little bit more sense, you know? Because it's clear that we're going to take the red orb to calm him down. What if the red orb would have been what he uh, interacted with first? Wouldn't, wouldn't he just be, you know, controlled altogether? Let's see, I think we want to go this way. HM07? Is that waterfall? Okay. He gets this waterfall. Okay. I was say, what is that randomly doing here? That's not how the game is supposed to work. I think I think it might normally be here, and that's why I gave it to us. That makes a little bit of sense. Alright, ladies and gentlemen. We don't have a master ball. Normally I'd have a master ball by this point, I believe. That's okay. We don't need no master balls. We don't need no master balls. We got this. Ground on. What the hell Pokemon was that? Chill's red orb suddenly began glowing. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Let's do this. Oh, he mad. It's a it's a bird. It's some kind of bird. It's a pupitar! Okay. Let's see, do we kill him or do we catch him? Do we kill him or do we catch him? Let's catch him. Mask, you're up. This song is deep. This song is deep. Speed drop, that's all right. Put it to sleep. Put it to sleep. Come on. Shed skin. Oh hell no. Nah. All right. Got to got to give it got to get it crazy. We got to get it crazy. Come on, give him a dizzy punch. Come on, one more. Oh, thrash. Oh no. Damn mask. No. Okay. We can't lose mask. Mask, we've been through too much with mask. But we also need to catch this thing right now. So sure, you're up. Come on. Come on, my beautiful tank. Come on. Yeah, there we go. My beautiful tank. Let's see. Look at all these ultra balls. Come on. Damn, it's not doing it. Come on. Thrash again. Come on. We got all day. We got all day, Pupitar. We did it. Oh, Lord have mercy. Okay. Pupitar is the hard shell Pokemon. Pupitar creates a gas inside its body that compresses and forcefully ejects to propel itself like a jet. The body is very durable. It avoids damage even if it hits solid steel. Okay. You're trying to challenge, uh, you're trying to challenge good old, <laughs> good old tough. Fine by me. Give it a nickname. Of course. Did we name anybody 
Did we name anybody Tyrant in this playthrough yet? Let me see. Let me see. Let me check. That sounds like somebody we've named already. Tyrant? No, we don't have a Tyrant. We don't have a Tyrant yet. This is Tyrant the Pupitar. Did it. We've quelled our world's problems. Well, let's GTFO. Ah, the calming music of the Cave of Origin. Come on. It's GTFO. Do we have... We have enough of a super repel. Yeah, for us to almost get all the way out of here. Not bad. I guess they don't have anything else here. Just the one. Just the, uh... Just the legendary Pupitar. We've saved the world, y'all. We have saved... Not only Sutopolis, not only Hoenn, but the entire world from from a blinding sunlight of a pupitar. Not bad. Let's see. I believe we want to go back in front of the gym right now. Let's see. I didn't put in uh I didn't add in Pupitar yet. Let me add let me add for I forget. Chill, we owe it all to you. The sky above Zootopolis has returned to normal, for that Wallace sends his thanks to. And that same Wallace is waiting for you inside. He's strong, but the way you are now, you should be on equal footing with him. Give it your best shot. He's out of here. Alright, we can clearly go on and take Wallace right now. But I don't think that's the wisest thing to do. I think... As, as, as much as it behooves me to make a short episode We haven't made, have, had a single short episode yet I think we should probably wrap it up here And ha give Wallace his own episode uh, I'm sorry, not wrap it up That's not what I meant Instead, we should do something else Then give Wallace his own episode So what we'll do here is We'll go get a lot of the encounters that we missed Let me add this in before I clown around and forget What was that? That was the Cave of Origin We're gonna add the Cave of Origin uh, let's see, uh, uh, Pupitar, Pupitar, I'll put the nickname later. Okay, so what routes have we messed so far? We've messed a few routes. What we can do is go get all the encounters that we've, or not all, get a lot of the encounters that we missed. Let's see. So if I wanted to add one encounter to this list, let's see. For Hoenn, we have missed, there's a couple places that we haven't gone to at all. For example, uh, when we left Marville City and headed towards Fortree City, at this fork in the road, we went north. And what we can do instead is go east, and that gives us Route 23. Where's Route 22? 22. Is that this here? We didn't get one there for Route 22. Either we didn't get one, or I didn't put in the thing. So <coughs> <coughs> Almost died there, boy. Alright, so there's Route 23 here That's this entire long stretch And then of course there's all the stuff in the water that we haven't done uh, We did 27 and 28 There's 29 here 30, 31, 32, 33, and 34 So what we can do is go to uh, Go back to Moss Deep Just surf south And that gives us 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and 34 and that would be all of our encounters. So let's go ahead and begin. Let us let us begin. Uh, I'm not gonna do 122 yet because I actually want to check and make sure that we we already got or we didn't get that counter for sure. I'll go back and check in the box later. It's not truly important to check right now. If we didn't get it, we can get it later too. It's no problem. Uh, let's see. Make sure the team is healthy. Y'all looking good. Y'all looking good today. Team snaps and claps. I'm proud of you guys. I'm proud of all members of Team Snaps and Claps, present and past. All right. Oh, no. I was supposed to put on a rappel because there's mud kept here and there's trap inch here. And I'm going to be upset. I'm going to be upset when we're stuck in a battle. All right. So let's, let's apply. Let's apply some super repels. We bought them. God damn it. Let's use them. Right, we're looking for Route 129, I believe I said. I know it's that long stretch. So, yeah, Route 129 is the very first part that we're looking for. Mm -hmm. Come on. There's 28. 
So then from here, I think we want to go uh, to the west. Alright, let's head west. Head west, young chill. Oh, sweet lord, she almost got me in a battle. Alright, here's 29. Wonderful. Now, if only our, uh. There we go. Right on cue. Watch this. Oh, oh, I thought she was going to win a battle. We can fish from here, right? Let's do some fishing. Let's do some fishing. I'm actually in the mood to do fishing now. I was gonna train earlier <coughs> by fishing. But I've realized that means I gotta pay attention. I ain't gotta pay too much attention when training. When catching Pokemon though. They'll them's the opportunities. Let's see. Nothing? Nothing? Come on. There we go. Just took me doing a little bit of singing. There's an Ella kid, level eight. We can't attack this man. We cannot attack this man, but we can throw balls at the man. Here's an Ultra Ball. Oh, this Ultra Ball, it matches your color scheme. Oh, this Ultra Ball, it matches your color scheme. Oh, yeah? Let's try it again. You nothing special, Ella kid. Let's stick with this. Let's go. Let's go. Mm, mm, mm. There's one. There's two. Ah. Ah. All right. Ella kid wants the business. Let's deliver the business unto Ella Kid. Um, Mask, if you would be so kind, Crit Master, as to grace us with your presence. And give us a hypnosis, please. Oh, no. Come on, Mask. Come on, Mask. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Mask. Mask, we just saved the world. Can you please... Can you please put this Ella kid to sleep? Thank you. Thank you, Mask. Love you. Love you. Come on. Let's go. This man. This man here. Come on. Stick with it. Stick with it, please. We got us an Ella Kid, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Ella Kid is the electric Pokemon. Ella Kid stores electricity in its body. If, t if it... <coughs> excuse me. If it touches metal and accidentally discharges all its built-up electricity, this Pokemon begins swinging its arms in circles to recharge itself. That's interesting. That's interesting. Elekid? Um, this is clearly... This is Body. Body the Elekid. Let's add him to the, uh... To the root chart. Elekid, Elekid. There we go. Elekid. Moving on. Uh, let's heal up. I don't think anyone drastically needs to be healed. Yeah, mask is fine. All right, let's continue. Woman, don't turn on me. Oh, she's okay. I'm about to say she's she's making it so that the only way past is her looking. That's not true. That is untrue. Route 130. Let's do another fishing bit. Let's do another fishing bit. What we got? Magikarp. Magikarp. It's all right. It's okay. We get we get a magic card. There's no problem. It'll be alright. Magic card, magic card, magic card. We have us a magic card, ladies and gentlemen. I was not I was not worried. We have us a magic card. Let me put magic card down for route 130. Magic card, the fish Pokemon. Magikarp is a pathetic excuse for a Pokemon that is only capable of flopping and splashing. This behavior prompted scientists to undertake research into it. Listen, we're not going to make fun of Magikarp, all right? Magikarp is doing its best. Magikarp. It's a female Magikarp at that, y'all. Uh, female Magikarp? This is Missy. Missy the Magikarp. All right, so that's 130. Moving down the line. Oh, oh, she wants to turn around. Turn around that. Turn around that. 
All right. Oh, this is still 130. They got Horsey here. We already got Horsey. Let's see. Let me add Magikarp in while I escape this battle. M A G I. There we go. All right. Come on, 131. Good old 131, boy. Wait. Where's 131? Where's 131? Where's 131? There we go. All right. Some more fishing. Oh, this was a quick bite. Let's see. Hey, Weedle. We have Caterpie, Metapod, Kakuna. Caterpie, Metapod, Butterfree. I have no idea. Don't listen. Don't be in the comments. Don't do that. Caterpod, Metapod, Metapod Butterfree, Kakuna, and Beedrill. And now we have Weedle to round things out, ladies and gentlemen. This game, this game, I tells you. He don't even want to stay. He already know. He already knows the bullshit. He already, he's familiar with the bullshit. All right, let's step it up. Since he's since this Weedle is too fancy for a Pokeball, let's step it up. We got a Weedle now. We got a Weedle now. There's only one proper name for a Weedle. Weedle the Hairy Bug Pokemon. Weedle has an extremely acute sense of smell. It is capable of distinguishing its favorite kinds of leaves from those it dislikes just by sniffing with its big red proboscis. Its nose. Uh, give it a nickname. Sure. Sure, why not? We're following the rules, are we not? This is King. I need my other hand. There we go. This is King. The Weedle. When I said we were we were filling up the team, I was not kidding, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> All right, so that leaves what three more routes, three more water routes. We're about to actually hit a new city beforehand. Oh, they got they got this. They got Lilip here. Oh, that reminds me. That reminds me. There's there's a set of Pokemon that we have not encountered or we we have not gotten our, our opportunity for an encounter for yet. We will get them soon. We will get them soon. Alright, Lilip. I need you to leave us alone. <laughs> Yo, look, get your ass out of here. Let's see. We will apply one more super repel, and then we should be able to make it to the next city, or town, I should say. Mm, yes. Yes, this is an interesting town. Pacific Log Town. Their town exists completely on the waters. This is a dope idea for a town where the morning sun smiles upon the waters. All right, let's heal so the game recognizes that we've been here. You know what? We got a little bit of time. I don't think the next, was it, two or three encounters? I don't think the next two or three will take that long. We can go and get this one, uh, this one opportunity that I'm thinking of. We'll do that shortly after. We get the F out of this town. As cool as I think it is, there's not much here for me. And as such, we must continue. Uh, this is Route 132. Mm -mm -mm. Hey, it's a Do Duo. Do Duo! We gonna catch it? Or no? Nah? Let's see. We got, we got Ultra Balls. We got Ultra Balls for days. Nope, it ain't sticking with it. It ain't sticking with it. We got a simple fix for that. Uh, tough, we're going to switch you out. Just a second, we need the crit master. We need the crit master. I bet all this thing knows is growl. Willing to bet. Willing to bet. Let's see. Give it a hypnosis. Oh, God, mask, why you do this? Why you do this today? You just chose the day to show out, huh? Here we go. Good work. Proud of you. Proud of you. All right. With that done, let's try it again. This time with a great ball. You don't get ultra. You just get great.
We got us a Doe Duo, ladies and gentlemen. Alright, Doe Duo, the twin bird Pokemon. Doe Duo's two heads never sleep at the same time. Its two heads take turns sleeping, so one head can always keep watch for enemies while the other one sleeps. Doe Duo. Uh, give it a nickname? Of course. I remember we gave it the nickname Header in one of the more recent playthroughs. Uh, 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 let's see. Will this work? Will this fit? We're going to make it. We're going to make it fit. Yeah, we're going to make it fit. Knucklehead. <laughs> Knucklehead, the Doe Duo. All right, so that's 132. Uh, there's, I know there's something here that most people want to find. We, we ain't going to get it. We're just going to navigate through here. We're just going to navigate through this bit. This is these are sliding tiles just like there were in the Moss Deep City gym. Max Chappelle. I'm pretty sure the item that most people want isn't even in this bit. Remember, we're randomized items. Oh shoot, I should have checked to see what route we were on. Oh now we're on 133. Okay. And we're being cleanly escorted out of 133. <laughs> There we go. What we got? What we got? A Poochiana. A Poochiana. We don't have a Poochiana on the team. I could have swore we did. It's not in the decks, though. It doesn't have the symbol that says we already caught one. So, we're just going to go with that. We haven't caught a Poochiana. Uh, crit. Uh, mask. Mask. Are you Are you going to? You going to? Thank you. Thank you for showing up today. I love it when you show up to work. Come on. Mm. Uh, great ball, of course. Nothing but great for the Poochian. Done. You done good. You done good. So this is what one thirty-three. I said. Uh, Poochie another bite Pokemon. At first sight, Poochie takes a bite at anything that moves. This Pokemon chases after prey until the victim becomes exhausted. However, it may turn tail if the prey strikes back. Poochie Was this 133 or 132? <laughs> I might have messed up somewhere. Let's see. Poochie Give it a name, of course. Of course. This is... This is... Chrissy the Poochie all right, let me check. Let me check the map, see where we are right now. Yeah, I messed up somewhere. Let's see. Let's see. What do we have written down so far? Weedle was... Oh, I didn't put whatever the last one. Doduo. Doduo didn't make it on this list somehow. Maybe I didn't press OK. All right. So let me fix this real quick. All right, we got that. Next is 34, 134. And after that, we'll go back and get the one encounter that I remember that we missed. Not really missed. We just couldn't get it at the time. And then once we could, I didn't get it just yet. Come on. There we go. All right. Last fishing encounter for the day. Feebass! There's Feebass here! That's pretty dope. Let's see if we can catch us a Feebass. Uh, great ball. Does a great ball a great ball suit you well? Does it suit you well? Yes, it does. We got a Feebass, ladies and gentlemen. Feebass is the coolest. When 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 they introduced Feebass, I was like, yo, this is the coolest idea for a Pokemon ever. Let's check the Pokedex. Feebass, the fish Pokemon. Feebass's fins are ragged and tattered. Uh, from the start of its life. Because of its shoddy appearance, this Pokemon is largely ignored. It is capable of living in both the sea and in rivers, which means it's what? Fresh water and salt water? That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. Let me put Feebass in here real quick. Give it a name? Of course we will. And it's a female Feebass. That's dope too. This is. This is beauty. All right. So now that we've gotten all these water encounters, let's see if we can head back. I think the closest point would be 
Let's head to Lava Ridge. I think Lava Ridge is the, the fastest way to get there. It might be. It might be. Let's see. Uh, I'm going to run in here and heal up. Of course. Our team is putting the finest of work today. Let's heal up. All right, back at it. Now, Team Snaps and Claps. We we we've, we've 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 encountered a lot of Pokemon in our day. You know, this isn't our first rodeo. Oh, Repel, I thought I thought we got into a battle. I was like, didn't I fight this man? Here on Route 131, I think I did this on screen. I tried to go into the desert and it wouldn't let me. It wouldn't let me because the desert was too strong. I didn't have the proper headgear to be able to progress through here. Now we do. So we can come in here in the desert. This is this is a route that we've already got our encounter on, so don't worry, we're not missing anything. Come on. Sandstorm is raging. Okay, that means we're gonna apply the super repel because I don't have time for this. Not today. This is my favorite. This is my jail. I've heard so many good mixes of this song. It's amazing. Let's see, we can sneak past these people. Here in the corner, there are two fossils. This is exactly what I came here for today, ladies and gentlemen. Here in the corner, there are two fossils. I have no idea which fossil I want to take. I have no idea which fossil I want to take. Uh, and there's no way to tell what Pokemon is inside of it until we actually take it. So let's see. Here's the root fossil. If this fossil is taken, the other one will sink it to the sand. Take the root fossil anyway? No. You found the claw fossil. If this fossil is taken, the other one will sink into the sand. Take the claw fossil anyway? No. All right. Root or claw? Root or claw? I have no idea what Pokemon is in, in the, either one. Remember, it's been randomized. But what we can do is take whichever fossil we do get over to a Pokemon research center, and they'll return it to being, you know, a healthy living Pokemon. Uh, I think root and claw? Claw sounds fun. Claw sounds a little bit more fun. Let's take the claw fossil. So we have a claw fossil. And the other one sinks into the sand. Okay, now where is the Pokemon Research Center? I probably should have done that research before. If I had to guess, it's either in Rustboro City or Moss Deep City. Because those are the two cities... That care the most about science. That's my guess. Of course, I'm gonna do some research. So let's see. Let's see. All right. So it turns out I was correct in my assumptions. Uh, Rustboro City is the city to take it to. The Devon Corporation actually loves fossils, so we could take it there, and they will analyze our fossil and tell us what Pokemon is inside of it. Come on. Uh, the Devon Corporation. Who? Who would have thought that I would willingly come back to the Devon Corporation? We, we got suckered into helping them so many times. Let's head up the stairs. Let's head up the stairs. Mm -hmm. I think it's this floor. This is the floor with all the scientists. We finally made new kinds of Pokeballs. The repeat ball makes it easier to catch Pokemon you caught before. The timer ball gets better at catching Pokemon the longer a battle runs. Both are proudly developed by the Devon Corporation. Please give them a try. Oh, wow, that's a Pokenav. It came about as a result of our president's desire to learn about the feelings of Pokemon. Would you like me to describe its features in detail? No, no, I think you'll find out just by trying the Pokenav out. It's a little bit late in the game for you to want to tell me how it works, fam. We're developing a device for talking with Pokemon, but we haven't made much success. I'm trying to develop a device that visually reproduces the dreams of Pokemon, but it's not going well. You know, they have a lot of ambitious projects here at Devon Corp. I've been trying to develop a device that resurrects Pokemon from fossils. And it's working. Wait, that thing you have there, is that a Pokemon fossil? Would you like to bring that Pokemon back to life? I can with my newly developed fossil regenerator. Sure. Excellent, let's do this right away. We give him the claw fossil. Right away. Fossil regenerator, which I made, is incredible, but it has one drawback. It takes a long time to work. So uh, how about you go for a stroll and look around for a while? How about we go upstairs and talk to uh talk to Mr. Stone? Talk to Mr. Stone, see what's up with him. 
See how he's doing. Do I do I talk to you from here? Yeah. You delivered my letter. Thank you kindly. This is my way of thanking you. It should help you, a trainer. We got another experience share? Bruh, all the experience is getting shared. A Pokemon holding that experience share will be given some of the experience points from battle. It will get experience points even if it didn't actually battle. I would say experience share is quite useful for raising weak Pokemon. Thanks, bruh. Appreciate it. And then... Devin's new product, the Repeat Ball and Timer Ball, have become hugely popular among trainers. <laughs> oh, yeah? So y'all got a bunch of trainers running around catching Pokemon over and over, and then catching Pokemon that take forever to catch? Cool. Thanks for waiting. Your fossilized Pokemon has been brought back to life. The fossilized Pokemon, it was a Tyranitar, bruh. So we got two Tyranitars on the team again. Again? Uh oh, you've got too many Pokemon. You have no room for this one. All right, we're gonna make room. We'll, oh, we'll make room. Um, I'm gonna go put a Pokemon in the box, grab the Tyranitar, and call it a day. But I'll wrap it up now. It's not something that you need to see on screen. Just understand that we got a Tyranitar. All right, guys. If you guys enjoyed this episode, the Pokemon Ruby Nuzlocke would love to see more. Then all you have to do is hit that red button below this video. Now that's that subscribe button and turn on notifications. That way you guys get notified of things that we happen on the channel. Like when a new video posts or whenever we do a live stream. Thank you guys for checking this out and I'll catch you later with more here on Alt Play. There's also someone we need we need to talk to that we didn't talk to. We'll, we'll get to it. We'll get to everything. We're almost done. We're almost done, guys. We're making progress.